So a good finish for these drivers will help them as well. And you can see that Jochen Maas is already beginning to have a look at the car in front of him. He's already thinking of coming past Kenny Atchison. And there goes Atchison spinning in the background there. That was Atchison. An almighty spin. Wipes out the front end of the Mercedes. Steam spouting out of the radiator. And that's it for Kenny Atchison. And that's it also for Marabaldi. The World Championship has been decided in those few fateful seconds. Kenny Atchison lost it coming through the right-hander and an almighty spin off into the wall and that's his race over and Marabaldi's world title over as well. Jean-Louis Schlesser now will become world champion whatever happens. Kenny Atchison must now be bitterly disappointed by that. He so badly wanted his teammate Marabaldi to become world champion but here's how Kenny Atchison lost it. That big moment in the right-hander and this is how Marabaldi found out the title had been snatched from his grasp. You have no problem? Big one. Big one. He's okay? He's okay, Dad. Oh, but the same place as before. What's happened? Kenny's crashed. I'm sorry for you. Really more. But I, I was not... Uh, <laughs> not really. I feel no. so bad. I know, I know. I was... The last half hour would have been the best, huh? But if I would be 10 seconds after him, I would be very, feeling very bad. But that was my job. Just the uh, coming out of the car. Big one. Big one. Big one. Next year. Well, high drama on the track and drama off it as well. Typical Marabaldi, his first question, how's Kenny? And here's a man who's now coming to terms with the fact that his title race is over. And of course, Jean-Louis Schlesser coming to terms with the fact that his is in the bag. Marabaldi though, the cheerful Italian driver, so frequently the pole sitter for Sauber Mercedes, must now be absolutely bitterly disappointed that his title has been taken away from him. Maro, your thoughts? <laughs> what do you want to do? I mean, uh, I'm happy that uh, Kenny didn't hurt himself. And, you know, of course, it could have been a very nice last hour between me and uh, Jean-Louis, but <laughs> this is the sport. Like I said before, I'm happy for Jean-Louis. Jean-Louis. Let's see how we win together. OK, Moro? Well, You're the new world champion. I've been in unusual circumstances, unfortunate circumstances, but uh, your feelings now. No, well, I'm smiling because uh, Kenny have nothing, and that's that's a good thing. Nothing happened. Nothing. No. Pro no. Pro no problem. No hurts. That means that. You know why I'm not uh, too disappointed because in the first hit I was leading. So that's that's a race. I mean, look look what happened uh, last week to me. <laughs> He's a happy Frenchman, isn't he? He's happy, <laughs> like I could have been me, but I'm happy really for him. You've had a fantastic season. I mean, it's been an amazing season. We had a very good season, both, so... Sorry for you, but he's not happy for me. <laughs> no, he is happy for you. The comradeship in the Sauber Mercedes team clearly evident there and this is the moment that Kenny Atchison lost it all, tore off the front of the car and that was the impact that did most of the damage, took the radiator away and ended his hopes of coming back into the race. And his disappointment needs no explanation. I'm sorry, Mara. Kenny, yeah. you're okay? Yeah. Your thoughts? I'm just really disappointed for Mara. You know, but um, we were struggling a little bit today, so it was all or nothing. We had to win or bust. Fortunately, we burst. That's life. What happened in the race? What exactly happened with the accident? Uh, I just got a little bit wide, trying too hard. The tyres had gone down a little bit, but I was aware of it, so I guess it has to be my mistake.